All right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. You're about to experience something I've never done on the channel before. I'm about to review uh, the only custom knife in my collection, uh, the only custom folder, I should say. I do have a small custom fixed blade from Aries, which is awesome. Uh, but this is the first custom folding knife uh, that has entered my collection. This is something you're not going to see here a lot, at least not right now. Uh, this is a Holt Morpheus. And guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. If you're new around these parts, definitely uh, hit subscribe and the notification bell. Stick around, have some fun on the channel, and uh, don't go away because there's lots of fun stuff coming. Now, this is a Holt Blade Works Morpheus made in the USA, CNC Custom, made one at a time, guys. And this is wild because this was actually gifted to me. Um, Longtime channel member, I met a guy named Nicholas uh, three years ago, probably at a local restaurant. He showed me my first time I've seen a Holt knife, and that was a Spectre. Really loved that knife. He let me handle it, and I'm like, man, someday. And uh, he's become a big supporter of the channel, has followed along all this time, and uh, he sent me one of these for review, and then said, I hope you like it, it's yours. And I'm like, what? So. What's really cool off the bat is it comes in this uh, embroidered uh, case, and in the case, uh, and again, now I can't get it out, there we go, is this card, and this card is like uh, your certificate of authenticity, and literally what you do uh, is you just touch it to the back of your phone, and it opens a link, and you now have your basically specs of your knife, everything about your knife, and uh, that is freaking cool. So we're going to use that to talk about this knife. Now, you do have, um, as far as the scales, they are beautifully milled, as you can see. You end up with contouring with these heavy chamfers at the edges. You're flat in the middle, but man, does it ever feel amazing in the hand. Uh, the grip from this gorgeous milling is unbelievable. Now they call these scales titanium with the feather milling pattern. They have several milling patterns. By the way, this is gonna be a longer video than usual, so buckle up. Uh, burnished and in the nude in this case, so plain tie. Uh, and then the clip is burnished and anodized at 88, so is the back spacer, 88 volts, and uh, the pivot and the, the screws all um, just so well done. Now, um, this is just stunning. I mean, can't even do it justice. So beautiful. Look at that clip. Clip is very low profile, but works really well for me. Uh, nice ramp, good in and out of the pocket. Uh, with the pants I wear, I don't have any trouble with this. If you have thicker seam, you might have some issues uh, with, you know, just how slim that is but by the way it feels amazing in the hand because of that um really no problem with it for me now you guys know i've been really fascinated with knives that really fit inside the handle lately by the way we are dead centered great um wow focus okay uh great um trough there in the bottom of the backspacer which you'll see more in a minute backspacer is milled into the scales which I think is cool. You do have a lot. Let's open this up. You do have a lot of, come on camera. All right, let me move this. Maybe that's doing it. There we go. That's better. You do have a lot of milling down inside um, the scales for weight reduction. And there is your trough for the blade to sit in. Just gorgeous. Now this is a liner lock locked up at about 30 there. Um, no lock rock. No blade play, not closing at all. You do have a great pass through to the lock bar. Easy peasy movement on the lock bar there. I mean, look at that. Just easy. Um, really, really nicely done. I think it's the black background and the really shiny. Let's do that. There we go. Let's see if that helps. A lot more light on the subject, so that should help. But just look at how absolutely gorgeous this thing is. Now, these are not cheap. I will, we'll go over that in just a minute um, and, and uh, talk more about that. You have a very nice uh, flipper tab with great jimping. And if you've not sp experienced uh, CNC Custom before, the action on this is not describable to me compared to what I'm used to. It is extremely snappy. Now, I'm told 
This is adjustable detent. I'm not sure if it is or isn't. Somebody could tell me down below if you're more of a Hulk collector, uh, but I haven't messed with that, but it doesn't need to be adjusted. This is magnificent. It does not take much force. The geometry is such that it's coming and it is popping out of there. Now you can see uh, lock bar, it drops to my thumb and just falls into place. This is glass. It is running on bearings and it is magnificent. Now here is your four finger grip. You can see there, perfection for me. Uh, you do have a very nice sharpening tool. Now on this blade, M390, and they call this Stonewash 1.0. I'm not sure what that means, but it looks like a mirrored Stonewash to me, which is absolutely just gorgeous. It's actually a little difficult to photograph because of that mirror polish, but I've gotten some really good shots of it, and it is just gorgeous. I mean, just look at this knife overall. Now, we do have uh, a, a pivot that is milled on both. I mean, that is tooled on both sides, not milled. Um, beautiful pivot. I think they have different pivots. I really like this one. Um, just the overall vibe. Nicholas couldn't have picked better for me. This is absolutely awesome. Now the jimping is in a perfect spot for me right there. Um, now people keep telling me, I've had a bunch of people tell me, uh, tell you what guys, you're going to get uh, lopsided here for just a minute. I forgot to get something out of my cabinet. Uh, but people keep telling me I shouldn't cut with this knife, which I think is hilarious. Um, and uh, both uh, uh, the owner of Holt Blade Works and Nicholas, who gave it to me, said, go cut something. So I, I've been cutting cardboard. I actually got fussed at by a couple people for cutting a, a egg and bacon, a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. Um, they're like, wow, why are you using such an expensive knife for that? And I'm like, because, yeah, it's not going to hurt it. Uh, but we're going to do this. Just so I can show you guys, no, I don't usually cut paper, uh, but this is unbelievably sharp. Um, and the reason I don't usually do this is I think uh, sometimes with some knives, it's sort of up to how I hold the paper, how well it cuts. So I don't think it's a fair test, uh, but in this case, it just doesn't matter. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, well, it does matter when I screw it up, but you can see there, it's definitely sharp. Um, it is unbelievably yeah yeah here we go with the part where casey this is why i don't do this kind of cutting on the channel because this is the part where i mess it up and then everybody goes well the knife's not very sharp um but it is and you'll just have to take my word for it because there we go all right and like i said it just happens that i can't hold the paper still enough uh because of my stupid hands but there you go but cardboard wise um, you know, I can hold that. That's why I cut cardboard most of the time for you guys, because I hold that very easily. And again, I got fussed at for this as well by people going, you're going to scratch the blade up. Well, what else is a knife for? Yes, I know it's an expensive knife, uh, but it, it's, it's made to do this. Uh, very, very much so. Uh, you can see this guy is very thin, uh, and you come down and you taper to a very nice point. Uh, it is a full flat grind. Just so well done. What else can I tell you about over here? This one was made in May of 2023. Um, no inlay, no, no collars, just the regular pivot. Um, and again, it is so cool. Now, if I go back over here on their website... Um, there's, they are here for you to order, okay? So you can, um, there's a lead time of two weeks on these. Um, they, it says handles. They have the option of titanium, feather, burnished, in the nude, handle machining pattern. Um, and then uh, they make them in MagnaCut now. So the newer ones are in MagnaCut rather than M390. And... Um, the the so yes this is what i have reflective stonewash 1.0 near mirror and satin stonewash those are the the three finishes they have um the clip you can get the spacer uh but you you click the options now these do start at 875 dollars um and as you click your your options so if i go with the stonewash and let's just say um uh yeah, I mean, again, but you, I, I don't know, you have to go through with them and add all the things like the, um, wow, Casey, speak words, uh, like the uh, anodization 
and, you know, the different things. Uh, it will add up. I don't know. Everybody's asked me how much this one cost. I can make my guesses, but I'm not going to do that um, because it was given to me. But, you know, let's just say base price on these with none of the anodization or anything like that is eight seventy five. So uh, definitely more than that. So uh, I am very grateful and thankful to have this guy in the collection. And uh, it is definitely one uh, that I have had a hard time getting out of the pocket. And when I driving down the road, sometimes I just sit here and do this over and over because this is the best action I've ever felt. I cannot overplay that. I cannot overstate that. This is the best action I've experienced. Uh, it is incredibly smooth. Uh, no, I haven't added any lube to it, anything. It is just magical. Uh, and the way it pops out of there. So, um, guys, what do you think of this one? Um, I, like I said, uh, pardon my bumbling and stumbling because I'm completely new to the custom knife game. Uh, definitely uh, hope down the road that I can be in a financial position that I can get some more customs. But for now, this is literally the only custom folder, uh, you know, CNC custom in this case. But you know what I mean, uh, in the collection. So, Guys, I love it. Nicholas, thank you again. Uh, this is not the last you will see of this knife on the channel. You will see it a ton. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.